What's up guys, I'm BTC. On the PTR, Doomfist got a hidden nerf, and Reaper was supposed to get a buff, but because of the way Blizzard handles it, it's actually turning out to be a nerf. First thing I want to share with you guys is a solution to a problem I was having that some of you might be experiencing as well because apparently it's fairly common. When I was trying to test this stuff, I noticed that the holes weren't appearing in the walls when I was trying to attack. I changed the video settings from the lowest to the highest, all the stuff in between, nothing worked. The solution then is to go into your documents folder, then overwatch, then settings, and then you'll find a file called settings underscore v0.ini. Just delete that and then start up overwatch. The game will create a new file for you and everything will be set back to default, and this will solve the issue. I don't know when it happened, it must have been a bunch of patches ago, but something in the old file settings caused it so that the holes would never appear in the wall. So if this is happening to you, that's how you fix it. Now let's talk about the changes to Reaper and Roadhog on the PTR, specifically the part where the spread randomization of their attacks was reduced by 50%. On paper, this is a buff. If Blizzard had handled it the correct way, it would definitely be a buff to these characters. Unfortunately, they didn't, and they have this really weird way of handling the attacks, and as it turns out upon further investigation, these are actually nerfs. I made some images and overlays to better visualize how this is supposed to work versus how Blizzard actually does it. We'll start with how it's supposed to work. Whenever you attack with a character, all of your shots are supposed to go where the crosshair is. As you increase spread and randomization, they move away from that center. That's why it's called spread, because it spreads out. So what Blizzard did was reducing the randomization by 50% that should have drawn a lot more of the attack back towards the center. So if it had been done the right way, this is how it would have worked, and it would have been a damage increase for Reaper and Roadhog. But instead of using the point in the center that then expands in all directions, Blizzard uses this thing right here. You have the point in the center, an inner ring, and then an outer ring. Anytime Reaper attacks, some of the shot goes to the center, some of it goes to the inner ring, and some of it goes to the outer ring. The randomization isn't moving stuff from the inner ring to the outer ring or back to the center point. That's not the randomization. The randomization is how much those shots move away from the dot or those rings. So when you have the live version of the game, there's a very large amount of randomization, so you end up with a spread pattern that looks like this. It's just a complete filled in circle. And that's because the randomization causes the attack to move all over the place, all the way up to meeting the other points of the other rings and the dot in the center. However, on the PTR, because the randomization was reduced by 50%, you no longer have that filled in circle. Instead, you get this ridiculous looking pattern right here. And this actually results in dead zones where Reaper simply doesn't actually hit anything in those little areas. The reason this is a nerf is because the old version, that outer ring had a chance randomly to hit the thing that you're actually aiming at. But under the new system on the PTR, even at close range, the vast majority of that outer ring will always miss whatever it is that you're attacking. And if you back up just a couple meters, most of that inner ring will also miss the target. What this means is that even when Reaper is in the range he's supposed to be in, which is 10 meters or less, you're talking somewhere between 30 and 70% of your attack will always miss even though you're in the range that you're supposed to be when attacking with Reaper. This is why it's a damage nerf. Reaper isn't the only character that uses this ridiculous pattern either. Roadhog does to a lesser degree, as well as D.Va, Bastion, Soldier 76, Doomfist. Any kind of spread that's in the game seems to be based off of this dot and two ring pattern. And while Roadhog also got a 50% reduction to the randomization, he doesn't seem to be affected as badly as Reaper, but even for him, it's still a reduction in total damage possibility. There are two possible solutions to this. The first is what I mentioned earlier, where you just get rid of the two rings and you have all of the attack originate on that center point, and then you can increase spread and randomness as needed per character to move it out from the center. 
Or the second, and I think the better, more optimal solution, is to remove randomness entirely. In any competitive game that has accuracy as an element, randomness is one of the worst things that you can possibly add. High skilled players should be able to control where their attack is going. And in order to do that, you need to have a set fixed pattern for every single attack. CSGO has a very good system where every weapon has its own unique recoil, but more skilled players can anticipate and adapt to that and move their crosshair so that the next hit will go where they want it to, even though the pattern is moving the shot around. So something like that would be way better than just having shots randomly go in different directions or attached to this dot and two ring thing. But in either case, this needs to be addressed because what was supposed to be an improvement, a buff for both Reaper and Roadhog, ended up being a nerf. So it needs to be fixed. The other change on the PTR is a nerf to Doomfist. This is not mentioned in any of the patch notes. It's also not mentioned in the known issues list that is on the forums. So there's absolutely nothing from Blizzard about this change. The nerf comes in the form of a reduction in damage and distance traveled by the seismic slam under certain conditions. From a standing position, there's no change. It will still do the same amount of damage at the same distance. If you try to do an uppercut followed by the seismic slam, again, no change, travels the same distance and does the same damage. The problem is when you're at the top of a ramp, stairs, or a little bit away from the very edge of high ground. I'm not sure what caused this or if it's on purpose or accidental. They did just change every character so that they jump the exact same height now. That could be related to this. In the next example, you'll notice that the damage and distance is unchanged when you're at the very edge of that high ground. And while most people are probably going to focus on the damage reduction, I actually think the distance reduction is more of an issue. Because when you're at that edge, you can expect to get the same distance that you're supposed to. But if you move back even the slightest bit, you may not know that you've hit that threshold where you no longer get that extra distance. So moving back even a millimeter or so, that tiny, tiny amount, all of a sudden cuts your jump distance in half. That is going to be really, really bad because it makes it a lot less predictable where you're going to land. And I think taking that control away from the player is really bad because there's no little red line on every single high ground that tells you, oh, when you're this close to the edge, you're going to jump a certain distance. But if you move back that tiny, tiny bit, well, suddenly your distance just got cut in half. If this was an intentional change, then it was an incredibly bad one. If it was accidental, then I guess just add it to the ever-increasing amount of bugs that Doomfist has. So hopefully you guys now have a better understanding of how the changes to Reaper and Roadhog work. What would you rather see? Them changing the way the randomization works, or just getting rid of it altogether and implementing a set pattern for each character? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to see more, subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Also, come hang out in my Discord server and my Twitch live stream. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters. If you'd like to see what kind of cool VIP rewards you can get, check the links down below. And remember, always, always blame the controller, because it's never your fault.